I would like to tell you the most beautiful story of my childhood, the adventures of Peter Pan. The story begins in London, where in one of the houses lived three children with their parents. You know, I'm really glad we're going to the ball. I've heard that the famous scientist had also been invited. Yes, that's what they say. Do you by any chance know what's happened with my tie? No, I don't. Maybe it's in a drawer. One day, something extraordinary happened. It was evening, and the kids' parents were getting ready for the ball. None of the three children imagined that when it was getting dark, and the stars started gleaming down in the sky, the hero of the story himself would creep up to their window and sit down on the sill. One day, the guest hiding behind the window accidentally revealed himself. Gee, Peter, you really exist! There was no end to the great joy. The kids couldn't believe that Peter Pan whom they have known from fairy tales, has come to visit them. Look, Peter, you've left your shadow and Tinkerbell outside the window. I'm very sorry. Don't be angry with me. My shadow is very stubborn and keeps running away all the time. What is this little creature doing over there? Michael, leave Tinkerbell alone. Don't worry, Peter. I'll sew your shadow on for you. I'll just finish at the shoe. Ah, done. <laughs> hooray! Hooray! I finally got my shadow. And now, Tinkerbell, let's teach the kids how to fly. Let's try it. Give it a go. Up you go. It's easy. Hop, hop. Hooray, how great! Hooray, how great! Full steam ahead! And so the children flew out of the window of their room into the great fascinating world. Let's sit down on Big Ben's hands! It's true that everything looks different from above. Everything is so tiny, it's hard to believe. This is nothing. My homeland is even more amazing. It's the most wonderful land in the world. Really, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Time for a great adventure. Direction, Neverland. It feels so great. The whole group left London and set off for a journey to Peter's homeland. Look! Flamingos! How beautiful! They're my friends! Hello, Peter! If you're going to Neverland, join us. We know the shortest way. The flamingos turned out to be great guides, and after a short time, everybody saw a wonderful green island. Look, this is my land. How green it is. Yes, the Neverland residents care about nature. They love animals and don't destroy the gifts offered to them by the earth. They're also very friendly. I really like this place. You were right, Peter. Your Neverland is wonderful. Let's stay here forever.
There are also pirates here. They're led by Captain Hook, who likes settling accounts. We'll settle accounts yet, Peter. You see? Don't be afraid, Wendy. I can handle them. Look! Mermaids! They're waving at us. How lovely! They're singing! And now, we're flying to the jungle. The jungle was breathtakingly beautiful. In the very heart of the jungle, there was, a, there was a glade with a huge baobab in the middle. Inside the tree lived a bunch of lost boys. The entrance to their hideaway was through a big yellow, big yellow tree. They accessed by climbing a ladder. Get up, boys! Hello! Get up, you sleepyheads! Hello! Hello! This is where I live. Come inside. Hello, Peter. Who have you brought? That evening, Mum and Dad were getting ready for a great ball, and they were having a little argument about which shirt would match the suit better. Dad thought that the white one... Who is Mum? Mum is the greatest person in the whole world. Peter! Peter! Can you hear? It's Tiger Lily. She's calling for our help. We have to find her. Meanwhile... Tiger Lily, tell us immediately where Peter Pan's hideaway is. I won't tell you anything. Oh, yes you will. Don't come any closer, cause I'll bite you. I have a feeling, Captain, that Peter Pan will visit us himself very soon. I demand that you immediately release Tiger Lily. Otherwise, wasn't I right? I challenge you to a fight. Set her free. No, I won't. Don't give in, Peter. Suddenly, on the horizon there appeared, Captain! Captain! A hungry crocodile! Help! I taste really bad! You're free, Tiger Lily! Hooray! Hooray! We've won! We have to go back! Why? Do you want to go back to London? Our home is back in London! Peter was very sad because of his friend's departure. In the evening, there was a big farewell party. The party is really nice, but we have to go back. I hope you'll visit us sometime. But we are with you every evening. We read about your adventures. You come to us every night. Will you show us the way home? Of course! Farewell, friends! Look! Your house is over there! It's very close! Thanks for everything, Peter! You're our best friend! The children did not even notice when they found themselves back in their beds. Our story about fulfilled wishes, dreams, and adventures comes to an end too. As you know, all's well that ends well. However, if you don't forget about your dreams, your favorite story characters will surely come back to you.